It's uh the explosion potential of this team on one target is stupid. How Godby plays Victor is pretty terrifying. Again, we talk about how he stands yeah. on the back caster creeps and just a little bit careful. Flame getting discovered by Jahu and Sky as well. So the shock blast does come through. Double harpoon from Sky as well. As Flame might need to be careful. There's to the skies from Jahu as well. Switches back to Hammer Form. There's a the shock blast. Flashes forward. First blood goes to Jahu. Level the aggressive gank. Yeah, well, Peewee is going to get caught out, kicked back, and MLXG going to lock down the kill. Actually, just get got head and take it away. Jahu wants to pick it up for himself, but MLXG going to grab it there. Beautiful use of the Chaos Storm as Flame's going to teleport in. Jahu very, very low. The Hyperproc doing so much damage here. Flame's going to be able to lock down the kill already. MLXG's died, and LGD, they're just grouping better here. They had the teleport advantage. Actually, Sky making his way in as well. But he's just gonna die for that one. PYL eventually fell, but it's around that as they fight over and he gives it up. Oh, oh we'll take it with Jassy. the ETH. Yeah, he's actually gonna get smited himself oh. here. There's the kickback. Jahu comes in and Shaoshi's gonna go down. Boomerang came. Killing that is exactly what you wanna do. Kicks him back into his mid laner and picks up a kill. Oh, oh Godby though, just gonna get in there with a Chaos Storm. Walks out under it like only the cool guys. He's sitting in the uh, the mid brush there right above Xiaohu. Oh, oh, what a hug! the death sentence. Flayed back as well, Xiaohu. You ain't going anywhere, buddy. And Godby gets the kill delivered to him Me. by his support. Let's go. Yeah, Flame is going to be able to land the knife. Actually flings him back in towards Zamp, who can easily get the extra damage. I should be relatively strong coming up into this next dragon well, fight in a minute. Speaking of which, Godby getting soloed out by MLXG. One more auto attack is going to be enough. Oh. Just smites him for it. Oh, wait, teleport. Here comes Flame. Yep. Able to get back up to the top lane as well. So, definitely good at picking up as many objectives as they can. But Yim pushed into the wall here. Woosh is going to be the focus. The ultimate is running here for Lay, but there's the Silver Bolts doing some work. The first Blade picked up. Might be going towards that static ship. It could even be that Ghost Blade here as Lay. He's going to get caught by the Death Sentence. Actually, just destroyed there. No Unbreakable Will was just about to hop. I was going to say, because there's... Oh, wow. Yeah, MLHD tries to go for the heroic play, but he's just going to get torn apart. So much damage from LGD, and he's so squishy. Flame looks for his way in. Woosh going to get missed by that boomerang. Joshi does manage to land the Prey Seeker. It PYL lands a death sentence. It's a double kill for Gobby. That equalizer was fantastic for Sky. We'll see whether it's enough to turn it around. It is able to get a few kills here as Imp trying to be the hero. Xiaohu is so incredibly low. And it is going to be Flame cleaning up for LGD and Imp. LGD doing a decent job trying to poke back here as Meganar is going to wear off. Oh. The flashback from Flame as Godby's going to get kicked in. There's the resonating strike, but MLXG getting destroyed. Taken down, the laser beam comes in as well. PYL's going to die. Xiaohu does have his W running, trying to get his health back. But Woosh with the aggressive moves on this Corky. But Blue Ash is a thing in the LPL. <laughs> Yeah, not quite so... Oh, beautiful play from PYL, but they are going to be able to start off this fight. PYL uh, nice going down equalizer. very, very low. Burnt to shreds from that equalizer. Whoosh takes a lot of damage. Imps pop the final out. Gap there does PYL, and they can't find a way in. Imp is just going to take so much damage from Xiaohu. There's another fantastic equalizer, but Imp able to get Lei out of his face there as Sky trying to throw the harpoons in. Still not really fully committing are either of these sides as Flame's going to get tagged by the Sonic Wave. And RNG actually playing this really, really well. Godby actually oh. flashing forward. Look at the laser beam. Takes down MLXG. Blows the Zonyas. The Nara to the wall. Jahu forced to flash out of the way of the wallop. And LGD, they finally looking to try and get in amongst it. MLXG just popping over the wall. He's going to be able to lock that one down. Jahu, though, taking so much damage from him. Gets knocked up from the kick, though. There's the equalizer from Sky. And Lay's going to kill him. LGD now trying to turn this one around. MLXG, he's going to fall down. But LGD missing a whole lot of their frontline. Their backline damage, sorry, Lei might need to trade himself. Xiaohu died in amongst all that, though. So the trade definitely going in favor of LGD. But now that death sentence was more than max range as Flame heads into Mega Nar form, allows him to tank up so much more. And Sky, no Zonyas is going to save you from four members of L this entire game. As LGD now starting a bit of an engagement. Lei actually is going to be the one. Unbreakable Will has been popped. MLXG in the backside, but he kicks out Xiaoxi. Not exactly the target they want, and he's going to die. Now Lei trying to re-engage this one. The equalizer so late in this fight as PYL tanking up the turret. Imp making his way in. Xiao just gets three shot one more oh. time. Woosh dies to the red buff, and Imp just going to use his lifesteal, get all his health. We're able to close this one out. In the end, just over a 10,000 gold lead, about 12,000 as the Nexus falls, and LGD 